This is lapis lazuli. It's the most expensive paint in the world. And in today's video, I'm going to show you why it's worth, what it's worth. I'll be covering pigment, color index, binder, costs, light fastness, toxicity, drying time, opacity, texture, and tinting strength. And while I do that, I'll paint this iris. Let's go. The pigment in lapis lazuli is, unsurprisingly, lapis lazuli. It's PB29 on the color index. It's an incredible ultramarine blue, and this pigment has been around for over 6,000 years. It was used by the Egyptians, by the Assyrians, by the Babylonians. It was used by the Renaissance painters. It's a really incredible blue. Up until quite recently, the lapis lazuli stone could only be found in one particular mountain range in one particular country, and that's the Sangi Sang mountain range in Afghanistan. The pigment itself is bound in a really high quality cold press linseed oil. This is a Series 7 paint, which is the most expensive paint Michael Harding makes. I think lapis lazuli and the other one might be Chinese vermilion. It's going to run you about 150 bucks American for a 40 milliliter tube. The official website for this paint says that the light fastness is presumed excellent, but it hasn't been tested. So we'll just go with that. Light fastness, by the way, is the paint's ability to withstand deterioration from harmful UV rays. This particular paint is non-toxic, which is really good news because most high-end paints are slightly toxic or radioactive. It is slow to dry. It doesn't wait for you. You wait for it. In terms of opacity, Lapis is a semi-transparent paint. Now what that means is it's going to be really great for glazing and taking your time. It has a beautiful, rich, smooth texture. Now I was surprised because the pigment particles are about 20 microns wide as opposed to regular synthetic ultramarine blue, uh, and which has particles about 1 micron wide. Now there's some graininess here, but um, nowhere near what I was expecting. I'm going to call it a smooth. The tinting strength is really low, so be warned, you just need a little bit of white to make your tints and a little bit of black to make your shades. Uh, anything else and the white and the black will really overpower the lapis. It's a very delicate, it's a very subtle blue. I hope you enjoyed this color review of Lapis Lazuli. Sub, like, comment, and share for more color tips from this colorblind artist. Happy painting! <laughs>